Hello and welcome to CE Air. Today we're going to take a look at FS Hut. I've been using FS Hut for about a year and I want to tell you what my experience has been over the past year and whether I still recommend FS Hut for the general community as an add on. Let's get started. We're flying the ATR. Uh, we're going from Valencia in Spain to Malaga. We're just going to follow along and, you know, review the product and how it's been working for me. All right. Okay, so let's take a look. Let's uh, pull up a flight plan from SimBrief. And um, I just created it a little while ago. And we're going to, um, just to show off a little bit of the uh, FS Hut capabilities, we're going to move it to the um, FSS gives you the uh, ability to move it to your gate if you started on the runway or you started somewhere else you can go ahead and move it to um, the particular gate where um, was assigned to you in the first place so I made the mistake of you know going into the runway when I started it so uh, using this particular function, FS Hot will bring it to the uh, gate, in this case, gate 46. All right, the other thing I wanted to do is to kind of show you some of the uh, settings here that FS Hot um, gives you, some of the uh, evolution into the settings here. So, um, over here on the sound, particularly on the sound, the developer has been working. Um, uh, very hard in improving that sound because initially um, there was a lot of complaints and issues with uh, the sound being very robotic and so the developer has been working hard and continues to work very hard in trying to um, to improve that for the users. I'm just going to set up my um, uh, the sound device here uh, just to make sure that it's captured in OBS. Sometimes it uh, can get a little bit tricky here. Um, so the um, I know that in the upcoming versions there will be more improvements around the sound. All right, so let's program the um, FMS. And let's see, we got, uh, oh, that's okay. So let's come here to the FMS. And actually what we're going to do is just basically, um, just to save some time, just go ahead and um, um, import it from SceneBrief. So let's go to flight plan and I have my trusty 42 Pro Flow and I'm just going to have the um, seam brief plan fetch that up here. I'm just going to move it aside here and this saves some time here um, just to have it uh, load up to the um, FMS um, directly. So let's go to our position in it uh, menu and FMS and initialization and position in it. That should um, select the second one and that automatically puts it in then we'll go to flight plan and the new flight plan and route and we'll just uh, key in our origin L get that come on there we go and we're just gonna execute it that's all in there. We'll go to flight plan and look for any discontinuities. Okay, so 
other than that, um, I already um, started the plane and actually set it up. Um, I'm not going to go through the whole startup procedure. Um, this is more about the experience with FS Hut. And after a year of using it, what, you know, am I going to continue to use it? How do I feel about it? Um, the good, the bad, and the ugly. Then we're going to request flight clearance. Valencia clearance, November 426 Sierra Bravo parking for two. Request clearance to Costa del Sol with information Yankee. November 426 Sierra Bravo cleared to Costa del Sol via SOAP 5 Bravo. Departure runway 12, initial climb flight level 160, then is filed squawk 4054. Cleared to Costa del Sol right, so via SOAP 5 Bravo. Departure so runway 12, initial that. climb flight level 160, then is filed squawk 4054. November 426 Sierra Bravo. November 426 Sierra Bravo, Redback correct. When ready, contact Valencia Ground 121.87. 121.87, November 426 Sierra Bravo. 160. Everything else okay here? Alright, so uh, before I go, I'm just gonna go through some of the things. So when I started using FS Hut, uh, a lot of these um, options and set in, settings were not available. Um, so this is something that has been um, the the developer has been continually adding things and improving things. So one thing I have to say about this developer is that it, he's very responsive. Um, to you know you have a you, you can you contact him via you know support and he is very responsive and uh, he um, takes in your suggestions um, and uh, he continuously improves the product so this is one of the good things about FS Hut so it was $20 when I got it um, and it's gotten better and better. Uh, it's still some issues, and it's still some room for improvement. But it, it's good to have, to see that the developer is very responsive about um, and engaged in improving the product. So I'm just going to go to the settings page here, kind of the top here. So uh, I'm just going to keep everything here uh, as it is uh, default. Uh, the f the sound um, I'm just not gonna mess with this because sometimes when I am recording things on OBS, it just messes it up um, a little bit. Now this is this is something that has been rolled out in the last few. Um, I can't remember exactly when it was uh, rolled out, but th on the voices here, the voices have um, were very robotic when we started. Um, when I first got it and that was uh, that was kind of a major complaint of people using it so the developer has uh, you know it started adding improving the voices and then adding this the radio effects on the uh, pilot and the co-pilot and ground station uh, so you can you know control how you know radio like um, the, their sounds um, the voices sound and then you can do the voice speed. And I find that if I put this to 100, it's just not workable. So um, I like it around, you know, right now it's, I'm sorry, if I put this to the top 150, it's not workable. I like it around 100. And, um, and then the, the communications volume, I keep fairly low. So uh, this is also um, an issue that cropped up when um, uh, integration with FSTL. Now, if you haven't seen my FSTL, uh, FS Hot integration video, 
uh, just be a link on top here on the on the top right uh, I would encourage you to see that and um, make some changes to this particular area because the uh, frames per second were uh, a little bit of a problem when this started and people had this up here like a 40 or so and it was you know the the, the simulation was just not working right uh, very slow I would get like 10 frames per second or something like that and it was so the developer got into it got some instructions I did a video on it and um, it's working well now uh, the other stuff is just fairly standard in terms of the weather in terms of you know some of the settings here and here you can assign shortcuts and all that that um, was there before so that hasn't one thing that I did is I have a button here just to on my velocity one I just uh, close and open the uh, window here um, so the other thing that you see you see the the traffic that has been injected by FS FSTL that and and then you can select from any call signs available here um, depending on if you're using um, liveries or you want to you want to call yourself something else different and and that will be reflected on on um, ATC and I'm just gonna click apply there and all right so we're ready for uh, already start up here so I'm not gonna do the startup procedure I'm just gonna uh, push back Valencia ground Zulu India Gulf one well, you two, either three, have to request push back and start up you have that finish you either have to you know have uh, Microsoft do the pushback or you have to have the pushback service um, I don't have any of those so basically what I do is you know make it I could get going here I don't need a pushback but if I needed a pushback uh, on this particular aircraft I just um, um, go on reverse um, that's the easiest way you don't have to wait for anyone um, and then we're gonna request our ta taxi clearance Valencia ground Zulu India Golf one one two three request taxi Zulu India Golf one one two three taxi to holding point one with one two via whiskey five whiskey three whiskey four November three hotel seven taxi to holding All right, point so one, one two, of the things that this five, is this was three, whiskey um, whiskey four, November three hotel when seven, I got Zulu the, uh, India Golf the one, first one, two, uh, version of FS FS hut this was available and this was you know you could follow this this uh, arrow here to get to your points it's a little bit finicky and we're gonna test it out there have been some improvements on this but we're gonna test it out right now and see how it does uh, but I mostly rely on um, just going by the instructions and the airport map that I get from uh, Navigrab and um, I also have a add-on which is like signs um, which improves the signage of the airport and they're very clear when you before I couldn't even you know see the signs if I was on the cockpit now with signs uh, I can't, let me I'll, I'll put it up um, the name of act, the actual add-on I, I don't remember exactly I think it's signs or can't remember but I'll put it up all right let's get going here and what we need to do is is pointing backwards so we used to need, need to roll in 180 degrees and then go like that 
So I'm going to keep that open. And I'm going to turn around here using Total Beach rudder pedals. And um, I love them. Uh, I got to tell you, uh, you need to get a set of these if you want to really bring your, your fly sim to the next level. Um, that allows you to do, you know, crosswind landings and takeoffs and all of that. It's just, it's awesome. Anyway, just follow that, um, that arrow here and it's going to point you to where you need to go. And in this case, you're just going to follow this yellow line over here. So after this dude gets out of the way. All right. Let's get going. It gives you the meters that you need to go. Um, sometimes this is not, doesn't, you need to go slow actually. What If you really want to make sure that it works for you, you need to kind of uh, go slow on your taxi. But like I said, I uh, I mostly follow the uh, airport charts and use Navigraph. And see right now it's telling me that I need to go this way. Oops, sorry about that. So I'm going to stop here and we're going to look at this is uh, H6. So we really need to be back over here we missed that point so this is one of the things that is um, I would consider the bad it's just um, I rather than just trying to follow that arrow arrow I, I really want to be able to so really rather than following the arrow uh, I kind of like follow and use more the charts than anything else and the Navigraph maps and uh, make sure that I'm looking at the signage here because sometimes if you if you decide to follow the arrow sometimes you miss your your waypoint here and it's kind of messy and this sometimes it's a little bit slow in, in reacting when when you get to the waypoint Like I said, it's better. It's really if you go slower, and it will be it will perform better if you kind of like don't speed through your taxi. And this aircraft, even at idle, it just wants to go. So I have to keep pressing the brakes here. So here is showing you uh, 68 meters, so it's going to be around here, and once it gets there, it's just going to point you to where you need to go, which I'm thinking it's going to be to the left here, correctly, and then I need to go right. And see, sometimes what I, when I'm trying to follow the arrow, um, I just don't pay attention where I'm going. So, so that that's something that um, I mean, I'm using it less and less. Um, Sometimes I use it just to confirm where I am or where I need to go, but I'm mostly, you know, taxing through visual, visual cues on the airport based on the charts, the Navigraph charts and uh, on the signage.
So or the other one of the other things that I would consider the good here for FSI is that you can change your departure settings. Um, and you can just change where you're parked, where you you know you can change the runway and all that, uh, and the vectors right right then and there. Um, so I think that's um, a really a plus here um, for FS High. Alright, so this is the holding point. Alright. Zulu India Golf 1123, contact Valencia Tower 118 decimal Set the flaps. 118 decimal 55 Zulu India Golf 1123. Last checks. And we want to. Landing lights were off, should have been on. Strobe. Econ, all that. We don't need the icing at this point. Uh, Seatbelt signs on. Signs, arm. All right. Ready for departure. Valencia Tower, Zulu India Golf 1123, runway 12, ready for departure. Zulu India Golf 1123, line up runway 12. Line up runway 12, Zulu India Golf 1123. why that us here on this particular kind of kind of short on the runway here looking for to be right on your waypoint here Zulu India Golf 1123 one, wind 079 degrees at 8 knots runway 12 cleared for takeoff Runway 12, cleared for takeoff, Zulu India Golf 1123. Positive right, here up. Nice day, Valencia. It's 
a nice little airport here. Alright, I'm going to engage the autopilot. Zulu India Golf 1123, contact Valencia approach 120.1. 120.1, Zulu India Golf 1123. Valencia approach, Zulu India Golf 1123, so 5 Bravo departure at 2005. All right. Climbing flight level 160. I'm going to set up nav mode. Zulu India Golf 1123, radar contact. Continue and climb to flight 160. level 160. Continue climb flight level 160, Zulu India Golf 1123. It is very convenient to have that uh, button here on my yoke to be able to open and close that window. I should be mindful of my speed here. I'm going to disengage boost and go to climb. Well, my friends from Sigier. Um, it looks like OBS crashed a while ago and I lost a bunch of the recordings um, when I started. Um, so I'm going to try to recover some of that and I'm going to show you this is a um, video on FS HUD, the good, the bad. I'm just going to skip the ugly because I don't think it's any ugly in here. You know, it's too bad. I had it going uh, on a beautiful flight here, and um, I don't know. Uh, this is what happens when you kind of like go on, on the uh, YouTube and try to see, and you watch some videos about some guy telling you the best settings for OBS, and you do that, and it gets screwed. Um, so that's what I did. I think that that's what happened, and... Um, you know let's let's see if i can recover this and and um end up with a with a good uh, video here showing you um you know how you know how fs hot and how's it been for me during the past year yeah a bit of stuttering over here Two golf alpha wind two five zero degrees at three knots clear to land one three Malaga ground Zulu India golf one one two three runway vacated with Delta Zulu India golf one one two three taxi to parking one six seven via Delta alpha one two alpha Charlie hold short of runway one two three zero 
taxi to parking 167 so, via Delta Alpha 12 like Alpha the Charlie. Hold short of runway 1230. Zulu bit India Golf 1123. I'm not sure is that because of the change here and um, I gave the wrong instructions because I told them that I was going to be on the ILS and I changed that so I told uh, ground that I was vac vacated and I was not vacated so sometimes there are some sub, sub little issues like that um, and Part of it is user error, part of it is uh, some integration here uh, with the airport, I'm not sure, um, so. 118.15, Zulu India Golf 1123. Malaga Tower, Zulu India Golf 1123, request cross runway 1230. Zulu India Golf 1123, cross runway 1230, when vacated contact ground 121.905. Cross runway 1230, when vacated contact ground 121.95, Zulu India Golf 1123. So I see, I'm already vacated and they're actually FS Hot was not able to pick that up. So Malaga Ground, Zulu India Golf 1123, runway vacated with Alpha. Now it now it Zulu picked India up. Golf 1123, continue taxi via Alpha. Continue taxi via Alpha. Zulu India Golf 1123. So it picked it up. I'm on A. Actually, I'm on D, so let me see. I'm on D, so it incorrectly identified the taxiway here and A, it's on the other side, so it thinks I'm on the other side. So, a little bit of an issue here, um, and it's um, had to do with the fact that I was just, you know, dealing with uh, OBS, and I changed and manually um, changed the uh, landing here, um, and FS Hut was not able to locate me or give me um, the correct directions uh, on the runway here uh, because I was not on A um, and I'm gonna be on A now This is A.
Let's see if picks it up here. Now it tells me here that I need to go left uh, once I get to this point. And it's a little bit ahead of itself here. I'm getting some stuttering here. Now I picked it up that I need to be go straight here for 149 meters. Alright, so this is also uh, an issue. Some of these, uh, this is uh, an ongoing issue, and and. Um, the yeah, developer is working on it. Some of these planes sometimes jump around like that. This one <laughs> seems to get... I don't know if it's stuck or what it's going on with him. Um, looks like he's doing some, some dancing around. Anyway, so... Um, just, just to recap... After a year with FS HUD, what do I think? So, I do a lot of VFR flying. FSR is not for VFR at this point. Um, so, and, and you know, I usually don't like to set any kind of ATC when I'm doing F VFR. I just like to fly and go uh, places that I want to be in and kind of enjoy the experience. And if you watch some of my videos, you see that I do a lot of that type of VFR and um, don't pay too much attention to um, ATC or don't use any any type of ATC. But when I do fly this type of um, um, flies, um, flights um, with the ATR or the PMDG 737, uh, I use FS Hot. Um, and I use it exclusively. I don't use the uh, default ATC for Microsoft. And like I said before, the um, developer is very responsive to issues and responds to you and helps you out when there are issues. Uh, he's constantly improving the product. I mean, this was twenty dollars, and and he constantly improving the the product to make it. Uh, better there there he's having some plans and you know future plans for this is uh, a little bit more integration with the um, with the simulator uh, working on the voices and continually it uh, trying to address some of these issues like this guy over here uh, jumping around uh, so will I continue to use FS hunt yes would I recommend FSR after a year? Absolutely. So um, um, it's a it's a it's a good product for the for the value for the the price. It's a good value. So um, there you there you have it. So I hope that this video helps you out. If you don't use FS Hot, it may help you um, make a decision around whether you want to buy it or not. And if you um, use FS Hot, uh, maybe you like to comment on your experience down below. Let, let me know what has you what has been your experience with the product and uh, whether you will continue to use it. All right, thank you very much, and as always, always fly Siggy Air. Taxi to gate 2-1 via Delta, easy 7-5.